Right guys, welcome back to another reaction video. I come to you, Jacob McDonald, that's my name. I'm a rugby player, through and through. You know, I've played 25 years of rugby. I've I've watched 25 years worth of professional rugby. You know, I'd love to say that I, I, I sort of, I know... Look, if you if you if you hit me with a player, if you hit me with um, some stats of a certain player, I'm going to tell you: Are they fast? Are they not? That's a pretty easy question in my my book. But uh, as far as NFL players are concerned, well, we're about to look at the ten fastest players in NFL history. The one on screen at the moment is none other than CJ2K, Chris Johnson. He did indeed have the fastest ever clocked. NFL scaling combine 40 yard dash, and he also went in, went went, went into the league, um, and and became the seventh um, of eight total players to clock 2,000 rushing yards in a season. Either way, guys, we've got the 10 fastest NFL players in history. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. Let's let's see what's up. Let's see if I actually know them. Know what I mean? Been watching the league for like four or five years. I, I I'm not. <laughs> I've got no expectations. Let's go. In the NFL, speed kills. Even Four, as kids, two, two, playgrounds you around the world are filled with races just to see who's the fastest. No wonder we obsess over speed. Oh, of course Being we the do. Fastest player in the league. If you don't obsess it about it, I mean, I'm I'm going to admit that I I certainly obsess about it. No doubt, no point, doubt in my mind. It's you and that a small is um, club of players. But being one of the fastest players in well, that's history, that's Tyreek. It's you on today's list. The fastest players in NFL that's history. That's Michael Vick. That's CJ2K, and I couldn't quite. Michael Vick. There's not a better place to start than the fastest QB to ever. You are kidding me. You're not going to tell me that a that a quarterback, an NFL quarterback, was actually in the top fast, top ten fastest players in NFL history. If if if, if, if that's true, then I feel absolutely cheated to have never seen him play live. Ever live? Vic mesmerized the world, doing things never before seen by a passer. Reportedly running a 4.2540 at the combine. It was primetime entertainment every time Vic suited 4 up. 425 and he's Vic's number 10. Speed wasn't exclusive to just straight line. Vic would often cut, shimmy, and fake before exploding oh through the God. open lane. Can you imagine it? Need to Can you accelerate. imagine it? Vic started in is that Justin gear. Fields or is that, is that Michael Vic? Because, I mean, 425, yeah, so called 425. It's not as if he actually clocked the time, right? Um. Which, you know, as a stats man, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really uh, give me enough. But uh, we start continue. stop blazing speed led him to being the first quarterback to rush for a thousand yards in a single season. What? The first quarterback ever to rush for a thousand yards in a single season? That happens every single year. The first quarterback ever. To rush for a thousand yards. Now that is a milestone. That that's something else. The worst that really thing that is. can happen to a defense is Vic deciding to tuck it and run. There's not a dual threat passer that has ever had a single well for the Eagles at that point. Michael Vick. As a Started result, the, the tenth fastest speedster on our list is the all-time leading rusher at the quarterback position with over six thousand yards on the all-time leader in rushing yards as a quarterback is just over 6,000 yards. That seems underwhelming. But maybe that's just because of the fact that I've come into the league with the likes of Lamar Jackson. You know what I mean? Look, Tom Brady's been in there 21 seasons, and he's just cracked 1,000 yards. So I guess, being a quarterback, you know, 500 yards a season would be pretty damn good, and I guess 6,000 yards would be, would be up there. But I'm going to say that in... Three short seasons time, Lamar Jackson's going to eclipse that. He has to. He's got to. Either way, we Brown, continue. Cliff Branch. They say that Al Davis loved speed. He repeatedly Just overdrafted went. guys that had great speed. Maybe all that time he was trying to... Hey, look. I would have I would have done the exact same thing. Overdrafted guys with, with great speed. Well, did you do that with the likes of Henry Ruggs III? Maybe. Just maybe. Either way kindle what he had in Cliff Branch. In the heyday of the Raiders, Cliff Branch, Cliff Branch Here we go. was the biggest deep threat in the league. But before we get to his three Super Bowl championships, we have to talk about what Cliff Branch did as a sprinter. In the 1970 semifinal, Branch broke the 100 meter NCAA record what? 10 seconds flat. What? You got a wide receiver playing in the league who runs a 10 second flat 100 meter dash. Uh, that, that's 
that's pretty much the likes of um, Tyreek Hill, the cheetah. In fact, I feel like he ran a was it a nine point nine eight? Was it was it a, a, a twenty point something two hundred meter dash? Who knows? Who knows? But they're up there. They're there or thereabouts. David Branch. Wow, we. And his speed translated to the league perfectly. He retired the all-time receiving yards leader in playoff history and had three straight in playoff history. All pro selections. It didn't matter who was throwing the ball to Branch, as he was just simply the fastest man of the time. Cliff Branch oh, is the sure. NFL's pioneer speed demon. Yeah. Billy Galt. No, I get that. Our oh, next fastest same player in NFL history actually competed in the Olympics, winning multiple gold records as a sprinter and relay runner for Team USA. In the 1983 World Championship, Galt was a part of the world record time 4x100 team. As a hurdler, he obliterated the world record time at the 19... Look at that! I feel like I've seen this guy before, but either way, let's have a look at, let's have a look at him. Look at him! In stride! Oh my god, what an absolute beast. 82 SEC championship. Fuck, he's going hard. Have a look at him. Bears. They used his speed to put some pads and a helmet on him and Jesus his creepers. That's exactly he's a game did. breaker. With the legendary he's an absolute game breaker. Chicago Bears team, Galt was the mercenary of speed. Whenever they needed a game-breaking play, they turned to Galt's game-breaking speed. In a huge game against the Minnesota Vikings, it was Galt's 70-yard touchdown grab that sprang the game open. You look along Willie's career stats. Look at him go! <laughs> he <has a> 50 <laughs> He's like, oh shit! Oh shit! Someone's about to uh, try and angle tap me. Uh, I better, um, I better speed it up a wee bit by 50 percent, not, not, not 90 percent, just 50 percent. Couple of extra, couple, couple of extra feet per, um, per stride, and, uh, well. It's all too easy, isn't it, for Galt? Even average 20 yards per catch. 20 he was a yards pure per speedster, catch. Controlling the game because he was just simply faster than everyone else around him. Randy Moss. Randy Moss was a long strider. At 6'4, it took him a little longer than other speedsters to get to his top speed. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it took a little longer to get to his top speed. But once he did, but once he did, anyone that could run stride for stride, <laughs> the NFL found out quickly just how fast the freak Look at him go! Was. At the combine, he ran a 4.254. <laughs> no, you've got to be joking. And that speed terrorized the NFL, regardless of what jersey he had. How can you say that his first few steps slow him down? When he runes a 4.25 40-yard dash, that means he runs a 10-second flat 100-meter dash, for sure. No doubt in my mind. That's ridiculous. Has that been clocked at an NFL combine? I don't believe it has. But if it has, I'm, gonna, I'm about to find out. Let's have a wee look here. College stats. All values from the 1998 Marshall Pro Day private workout. Moss did not attend... The 1998 NFL Combine, but he did clock apparently a 4.25, 40 yard dash, a 47 inch vertical jump. Yep. All right. I got no words. I've got absolutely nothing to say. That is ridiculous. I mean, they said Michael Jordan jumped 48 inches. I thought that was absolutely ridiculous. I thought that was. I actually thought that was impossible. But uh, seeing that Randy Moss can jump 47, I guess some someone can jump 48. And Michael Jordan, well, he may have been that guy. Whew, 4 two, 5 and 47 inches. On. Randy Moss. And he's number seven. Moss simply was faster and knew he was faster. Everybody remembers Moss throwing his hand up running along the sideline. Before I don't he even remember had a it. Step on D'Angelo Hall. He sprinted past Hall, running under a long bomb for the score. No single play shows just how big and fast Moss was. More than his Thanksgiving day. Can you imagine it? Six foot four, running a 4.25 second 40 yard dash, with the 47 inch vertical jump as a wide receiver. What? A quick screen against the Cowboys. He caught the ball along the sideline and proceeded to outrun every angle the Cowboys had on him. All they could do was oh, that's like Deion Sanders. hand on him. But our personal favorite is his bomb from Brady, where he outran three Jets defenders into the end zone. Oh, Randy Moss's speed. One end catch. Have a look at that. One of one. Chris Johnson. 
Chris Johnson coming out of ECU blew up the football world with his 40-yard run at the combine. Nobody could stop talking about the number. 4.24 four, two, four. I Chris thought Johnson it was 422 actually. Actually, I, I, I might be run. confused. I think uh, Tyreek Hill said, and I quote, that he ran a 422, but uh, uh, Chris Johnson, CJ2K, ran a 424. And he brought it right into the league, let's be honest. By nearly half tenths of a second, drafted by the Titans, Chris Johnson's speed constantly showed up on game day. Shit, with the yeah. ball in his hands. Johnson now, why couldn't he continue? Blew by defenders. Look at him! Every time he caught a pass or took a handoff, there was a chance his speed would actually take the... I'll tell you what, I would have loved nothing more than to see this guy play in his rookie season, if nothing else. You know, second season, third season. I felt like he was in the league for like six or seven seasons, but couldn't quite match those first couple. Am I wrong? Only time will tell. Let's get into it. The game over. If he broke the initial line of defense, Johnson was impossible He's gone. to catch. He's His absolutely speed gone. Killed, making him the ultimate home run threat in the NFL. In 2009, Johnson ran into the record books. He ran for over 2,000 yards and broke the all-time single-season scrimmage record at 2,509 yards. He and his speed earned... Shit, I'll tell you what, I knew he got over 2,000 yards for a, as, as far as along the ground, but I didn't realize he, he also got some yards um, through the year. I mean, he, he didn't got too many. It must have been like 450, 400 at most, but... Um, have a look at him. Have a look at him. I tell you what, man, <laughs> I just wish I saw him play. I really do. I would have... <sighs> He's the Derrick Henry of, you know, the 2000s, let's be honest. And what happened with Derrick Henry? Well, lo and behold, he becomes the eighth player ever to, to score 2,000 yards, but um, he's not going to be the fastest. He's certainly not, not going to run a, a 4 2 4 40 yard dash. Under the nickname CJ2K. Just like Chris Johnson's record-breaking year, his speed is unforgettable. Tyreek Hill. Oh, here we go. A guy nicknamed Cheetah. Well, here we he's go. He's probably going to be For on good this list. We don't make the rules. For good reason. But Hill's reason. speed dictates the game plan. It's ridiculous. Defenses. It's they absolutely ridiculous. You know what? You think you might be like a couple of yards in front of him, but, bro, you can't. You can't mark him. You cannot. You you don't have the speed. You simply do not have the speed. <laughs> um, and, yeah, it's uh, it's laughable actually. About themselves. At times. Just to not get beat deep. It's laughable. By Tyreek Hill. At five nine, it's easy to lose Hill on the field. That is until Mahomes finds him and he's throwing up the peace sign. In high school, Hill recorded both a 4.2540 and a sub 10 second 100 meter dash. That is pro day. A sub 10 second. Look, 425, whatever. It's not official, so to speak. But a sub 10 second 100 meter dash, and that's that's you know he he would have done that through high school. He would have done that through college. Um, and he, he almost, he, he, he almost got, in fact, I, I, I think he might've actually got under 21 seconds for the 200 meter dash. This guy is absolutely rapid. His nickname's the cheetah and, and it's for good reason. In 2016, some scouts hand timed him at a 4.21 in the 40. He could have very well decided to run track for the United States Olympic team instead of scoring touchdowns for the Kansas city chiefs. And Hey, he still might. After their Super Bowl win, Hill vowed to run in the U.S. sprinting trials. Well, that, that football, didn't happen. That didn't happen. He did do an ESPN um, special, uh, which we'll see just here. Video comparing his time next to all the best sprinters in the world shows that he would not only be able to, but he'd be right in the mix. Well, I'll tell you what, right in the mix. Well, I'll tell you who was right in the mix is that DK Metcalf. I mean, he, he, he actually tried. He vied. To um, in his off season, during the 2021 off uh, NFL off season, he actually vied to um, become part of the US track team. He ran a a seventh place, 10.37 second hundred meter dash at the Golden Games in 2021, and that, my friends, is one of the best things I've ever seen. Ever to follow DK Metcalf through college, through the Combine, to the Seahawks, 
and to run a 100 meter dash to try and get a place in the Tokyo Olympics team I mean that was just absolutely incredible something I'll never forget uh, something Tyreek Hill hasn't done he said he was going to do it but he hasn't now put that speed on a football field you can see why defense is tremor I mean I know he's shredded have to play I know he's Chiefs. shredded Deion but the Sanders. thing is he's not at the Chiefs anymore He's not at the Chiefs. And I'll tell you what, Deion Sanders, yeah, he's got to be up there. So this is number four, yeah? Deion Sanders, number four of all time, the top ten fastest players in NFL history. <sighs> he never clocked a, uh, a 40-yard dash. I mean, all these top guys, right, they never actually clocked an official 40-yard dash. And I feel like that's probably given them an advantage as far as their stocks, as far as talking about their their ability and, and, and what they what they what they could do and what they what they what they may have done um but i'll tell you what all you've got to do is is watch a bit of Deion sanders footage and 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 you know you can you can realize pretty damn quickly that he is faster than every single other person on the field with ease with absolute ease it's ridiculous let's have a look at it Neon Dion. Dion is the flashiest player the NFL has ever seen. He was cocky and bragged non-stop. And played a great cornerback. Trash Want to know played what? cornerback. So really, the only opportunity they'd actually got to run with the ball in hand and show his speed to the absolute max was when he got a an interception. So really, all I want to say is that uh, it's an absolute tragedy that he wasn't actually playing wide receiver because, I mean, he would have had... Jeez, he would have had a hell of a lot more opportunities to actually run with the ball. Show his speed. Show his jump cuts. Bang! 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 And go hard. Either way. Why he could talk so much trash. Well, he knew he was Talked the a lot of trash. player on every single field he stepped on. Bro, that's the, the urban thing. legend goes like that's this. The thing. Instead of prepping and going through field drills at the combine, Sanders showed up without warming up. He stepped up to the 40-yard dash line and ran a 4.2 flat in street shoes. Then he immediately got back into the Yeah, but the, the thing is, it's not, guaranteed. It's, not, it's not actually recorded, right? Okay, the legend has it that you turned up in fucking long pants and boots and you went out and ran a 4.2 second 40 yard dash at the combine but it's not guaranteed and with that in mind let's let's check he ran a 4.29 second 40 yard dash from the 1989 nfl combine let's have a look at this jeepers creepers where'd you get those peepers okay a 429 all right, let's go back. Let's see. What, what, Field what'd you drills say? at the combine. What'd you say? Sanders showed up without warming up. He stepped up to the 40 yard dash line and ran a 4.2 flat in street shoes. Well, I wouldn't say then it's 4.2 flat, mate. Into it's 4 the 4 limo he came in and left, proving everything he needed to. He's a baseball star. He's a football star. He comes in. He leaves just as quick. And um, yeah, prime time. Prime time. Well, we can't confirm he was prime time it. from it's the get-go, let's be honest. Much he was prime time from the absolute get-go. effortlessly stick to the NFL's fastest receivers throughout his career. It makes the story that much more believable. Sanders may very well have run the fastest 40-yard dash ever, and he had all the charisma to go along with it. Bo Jackson. Bo Speaking Jackson! <laughs> legends, Bo Jackson's is a Four years of the absolute best. Got taken out of the game way too early. When you're that powerful, when you're that fast, when you're that big, when you're the the American football version of Joan Lomu of rugby, um, yeah, it's going to take a lot to stay at the top of your game. It really is. You know, you sort of get there and, jeez, tell you what, it's a, it's a tragedy. Bo Jackson was taken out through a hip injury. Joan Lomu was taken out through a kidney disease. And I tell you what, both players, I, I'd I'd love I'd love to think that both players actually met each other at one point um not sure if that actually happened but that should have walking urban legend everybody has a tale about bo jackson in the late 80s 
But the NFL's Chuck Norris is more than just a story told in barbershops. He's arguably the most explosive athlete. He's <laughs> huge! In his pre-draft combine, they say that Bo Jackson ran a 4.1240 yard dash. If that number sounds ridiculous, well, that's because it is. It is. But don't fret. When they asked Bo what the actual time was, he finally spilled the truth. It was, in fact, only a 4.13 official. No, you're fucking joking me. That's not possible. Official time. Hmm, good thing we solved that myth. A 4.14 time would make Bo by far the fastest player the NFL has ever seen at a remarkable 230 pounds. That's ridiculous. It has ridiculous. How tall was he? 6'2? There may not have been another player on this list over 225 pounds. That would make Bo the fastest pound for pound man in NFL history. But that doesn't mean he actually is the fastest. We still have two more. <laughs> Who the hell? Who the, the hell is going to come up next? I just speedsters. I can't Bob even imagine Hayes. it. Bullet Bob Hayes. Bullet Bob Hayes. Here he is. Speed. The uh, the Olympic uh, hurdler, or was it the hundred meter hundred meter dasher? Bullet Bob Hayes. He's the only true Olympic sprinting gold medalist to play in the NFL. And 996. Still, the only gold medalist and Super Bowl champion. Was it 996? Bob Hayes speed. Was it? Was it 996? If that's the case, man, that is some recollection for you. Let's have a look. Bullet Bob Hayes. Would you believe? At the 1964 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, he had his finest hour as a sprinter. First, he won the 100m, and doing so, tied the then world record in the 100m with a time of 10.06 seconds. <laughs> 10.06 was the world record at that point. Well, fucking we. And then, you know what happened after that, right? It is got the likes of Usain Bolt. And thankfully for us, it was also timed. 10.06 in the mid-60s. Playing American football. For the era of specialized madness. training, Absolute Hayes madness. broke the world record 100 meter dash, running under 10 seconds at the 1964 Tokyo Olympics. But the true test of Hayes' speed was in a 4x100 relay race, where opponents boasted that they couldn't win. Oh, he brings it back! He brings it back for the States! He brings it back for the States in the final leg of the 4x100 meter dash. U.S. team had was Hayes. As the anchor of the race, Hayes made a dramatic comeback win, running the fastest relay leg in history at 8.5 seconds. After the race, his teammate looked over at the other sprinters and said, well, that's all we needed. Hayes transitioned to the NFL, where he was drafted by the Cowboys. Oh, his how exciting was that? I mean, they, they, obviously these, these videos, these photos are, are remastered, but how exciting would that have been? How exciting? I mean, there's no internet, right? It would have been magazines, it would have been TV at the very best. Um, wow. Bue in the league effectively altered the NFL forever. Because of his unrivaled speed, defenses invented both press coverage and zone defenses. Putting some you ain't gonna catch coverage him. with Hayes. <laughs> you ain't gonna catch this count. Cowboys six points. There's not a chance. Two years, he rewrote Cowboys record books, including 22 franchise marks that still stand to this day. Only one person in history can say he was so fast he changed the timeline of football. Bullet Bob Hayes was essentially the NFL's flash. Darryl Green. Darryl Green is known across the football world for his speed almost exclusively. Yes, he was an all-time great cover corner, but it was his unmatched speed that people will always remember. So Darryl Green played corner. Let's have a look at him. I've heard the name before, I'll most likely hear it again, but um, I need to get you some stats, that's for sure. 5'9", 184 pounds. Got picked up in the first round of the 1983 draft with pick number 28. Went to the Redskins. He's been there for 19 years. Two-time Super Bowl champion. But let's have a look at his, uh, his stats. You know, this is in the 60s. Remember? Actually, no. No, he was born in the 60s. Um, this is in the 80s. Track and field, his first meet was 1982 in San Angelo, Texas, where he ran a 10.08 in his 100 meter dash. Uh, the mark still stands as the all-time best in the Lone Star Conference. At the 1982 NCAA Championships, still in college, Green finished 6th in the 100 meter dash and 7th in the 200 meter dash. 
His all-time collegiate best in the 100 was 10.08. 20.50 in the 200 meters and 45.90 in the 400 meters. He was named the most valuable track performer at the 1982 and 1983 Lone Star Conference Championships. And he holds NFL records as the most consecutive seasons with an interception with 19. Uh, 19, <laughs> 19 seasons. With at least one interception. Most seasons with at least one one uh, one touch. Reception rushes returns. With uh, t- 20 tied with Jerry Rice. Oh my god, this guy was just... He was there or thereabouts for, for, for 19, 20 years. Oldest player with more than 35-yard gain. Uh, lateral on punt return. 42 years. He was playing at 42. Almost 43 years old. Unbelievable. Oldest NFL defensive back at 42 years old. <laughs> Four-time NFL's fastest man competition winner. Only player to win multiple times and never lose. 1996 Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award. Fastest 40-yard dash in NFL history. 4.09 seconds. And he did that several times through training camp in 1986. So you got to... I mean, you've... It is Wikipedia, but you got to... You got to give him the benefit of the doubt. You have to give him the benefit of the doubt. It's Four not a surprise. As that Green was a two-time That's All-American track That's star in college, speed. from that is unmatched to 91. Speed. Despite being smaller than all his competitors, he was a first-team All-Pro selection at corner. This was a combination of having the greatest recovery speed ever seen <laughs> and being a great technician. Green reportedly recorded a 40 oh, time 4.09 oh, bro. at the Washington Redskins training camp in 1986. 4.09 at the Washington Redskins training camp in 1986. even been faster in competition than his college 10 second 100 meter dash, winning oh, four bro. NFL's fastest man competitions. When the event was Woo! retired, he was still the only undefeated... When mo- the event was retired, I'll tell you what, that is something I don't agree with whatsoever. We need that every single ever. year. We so, need that every the single Green year. Speed? Well, if you ask him, it's Tootsie Rolls. Green's pregame ritual included putting <laughs> Tootsie, Tootsie Rolls, Rolls in his socks. Tootsie Rolls Green breakfast. just proves that speed must live forever. He was clocked in with a 4.540 yard dash on his 50th birthday. Oh my god! Was he faster than Bullet Bob and 50. Hayes? Well, that's a foot race we'd kill to see. So, there you have it. The fastest players in NFL history. What about you guys? What's your 40 yard dash time? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't. Well, 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 guys. Um, look, I, I, I feel like I, I may have actually watched that video before, but uh, only time will tell. Only time will tell. Really appreciate you being here. Uh, as always, much love, and uh, well, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.